What's going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 21 tutorial. In the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna teach you how to perform the new drag back skill move in FIFA 21. Before getting started, make sure to smash the like button. Let's try and get over 1500 likes if you wanna see today another tutorial about a fantastic new attacking technique in FIFA 21. If you have played a few games of FIFA 21, you might have noticed that the drag back cannot be performed like in previous years. They changed it and it's super easy to do, fellas. Uh, first I'm gonna explain you how to do it of course and then we're gonna see exactly where on the pitch it is best to use the drag back. In order to perform the new drag back in FIFA 21, all you have to do is press and hold L1 plus R1 on your PlayStation 4 controller or RB plus LB on your Xbox One controller and just move the left analog towards the back of the player. Or you can do different variations of the skill move, of the exit of this skill move, depending where you want to go after doing the exit. You need to know this, it is not as fast as it used to be in FIFA 20 or in FIFA 19. Uh, the drag back in FIFA 21 is just a bit, a bit slower, but it compensates the fact that now you can chain more skill moves than in FIFA 20. In FIFA 20, if you do, mo if you did more than uh, two skill moves, then the, the touch after the second skill move would have been kind of bad. Uh, the ball would have gone too much in front of your player. Now in FIFA 21, you can chain more skill moves and you can chain more drag backs. We've got three variations of the drag backs that I'm gonna explain in this video. First of all is the full reverse drag back. You change the direction of your player at 180 degrees. So all you have to do is press R1 plus L1 as you can see on the, on the controller and move the left analog full in the back of your player. Uh, this will allow you to change direction, open up uh, the angle, maybe do a shot, maybe do a pass, maybe do a cross. A very versatile skill move the drag back is. The second variation is actually one of my favorite this year and has been one of my favorites in the last couple of years. It's the fake drag back. I love that so much. Let me show you how you do it. All you have to do, boys, is perform the motion of the drag back, pressing R1, L1, and then moving the left analog towards the back of your player. But in the moment when you see uh, that your player has dragged back uh, the ball, and is very close to him, like in this example right here, move the uh, left analog towards the front of the player. This will do a fake drag back. The opponent will think that you're gonna drag the ball and just change direction at 180 degrees. Well, boys, by doing the fake drag back, uh, you will be able to fool him and just continue moving in the same direction in front of the player and the opponent being fooled he will go the other way or give you an extra extra time in order to set up the shot last but not least we've got the drag back being performed at a 45 degrees angle changing the direction with 45 degrees what does this exactly do you will be able to move the ball from a position from where it would be harder to score to a position on your player's most dominant foot. You have Kylian Mbappe here, he will be changing uh, direction, fooling goalkeepers, fooling uh, uh, defenders and putting the ball on his more dominant foot. Don't ask me why or how he missed this one, usually he scores it, but this variation of the drag back at 45 degrees angle is again a very very good one. So boys, there you have it, the new drag back, how you can perform it and where you can use it on the pitch, which variations I like most and what better way than doing a show match by using almost exclusively the drag back. That's exactly what we're gonna do in the next couple of minutes. Griezmann with the finesse goes in! That was the 180 degrees drag back, the classic drag back 
using it to put the ball on Griezmann's stronger foot and then the finesse there goes in with no chance whatsoever for the goalkeeper. 45 degrees to cut inside, beautiful. Far post. Oh, that's a big miss there. Oof. Griezmann again. Griezmann again. That's too far out. Is it offside? Is it? It's not. And the drag back just saves us there. Fooling the goalkeeper with super, uh, super much is. A drag back remains one of the best skill moves in FIFA 21. Messi, drag back and oh! Allison with a nice, nice save. I was so sure I'm gonna score that one. I think I relaxed. Messi, finesse it! What a goalkeeper Allison is. It might not seem like a super, super great save. But the positioning was just great from Allison. One, two, how many? Okay, you can, you can do de decent, decent drag backs. You can do around three, chain three, which is more than okay. Dembele, the drag back, the finish. And I think we are going to see a rage quit here. So boys, the new drag back remains one of the best skill moves in FIFA uh, 21. A lot of defenders, a lot of midfielders, a lot of strikers can do it. You don't need 4-star skill moves, 3-star uh, skill moves, 5-star skill moves to do it. Anyone can do it on the pitch. That's very, very, very important. And of course, take into consideration here that you're gonna do it better with more agile players. And very, very important, you can do it, you can chain it up to 3 times. This will be all for today. Don't forget to drop a like at the video. Let's try and get over 1500. That would be awesome and much, much appreciated. I'll see you fellas in the next one. Bye-bye.